Kathleen Kelly, professor, Department of Nursing, Caldwell College. Good to see you. Thank you. It's very nice to be here, Steve. Uh, we're about to, uh, in a little bit, we're going to see Sammy, who is a, is, is, is a simulated what? Guy? He's a simulation mannequin. He's a high-fidelity simulation mannequin that we use at Caldwell to deliver great immersion experiences to our students. That's amazing stuff. We're going to see some B-roll of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. But I need to know something. How the heck did you get into nursing? It's actually a long story, well, but we I'll make it short time, for you. So give me the short version. <laughs> give me the public I, television version. There you go. I went to engineering school to Stevens in Hoboken, and I practiced for a while in electrical engineering. And when I had my kids, I decided I wanted to do something a little different. And much to my father's chagrin, I left engineering and went into nursing. Love it? Love it. Why? It's not every day that you can make a difference in the world doing anything that you do, be it teaching my friends, my family, making a difference in patients' lives. How many people can say that? I made a difference today. I and helped the, someone. But the teaching part, because the clinical part, I hear you, but where does the mm -hmm. teaching part come in? Well, uh, that's the future. It's the future of nursing, to be a teacher. I can develop the next wave of nursing students, which I think is amazing, and make sure that they're ready to come out and take care of me in the future, if needed, my family, you, yeah. anyone. But teaching has changed because this mannequin that you're talking mm -hmm. about wasn't around 10 years ago? Not when I went to school. It wasn't. It's really unbelievable. We use Sammy in our simulation lab to allow my students to have... Can we talk about have, uh, Sammy? Oh, there he is. I'm actually working with one of my students here, and we're talking about how to take care of a central line that has become displaced. And it's more than just teaching my students how to do it, talking to them about it, they actually get the hands-on skills of doing it. It's very different from just different? learning. Well, because now they have to do it. They have to do the right thing at the right time to the right person and watch what's happening as they're doing it. Not just answering a question on a test, I would do this. Can you physically do it? Can you get in there, get your hands dirty, and deliver the right interventions and you know, gauge how the patient's doing through it? But how, but how does Sammy this well, mannequin react. Say you don't get it right. Well then, uh, we actually program the mannequin that if he doesn't, if the student doesn't do what's expected, Sammy doesn't do well. Could you be, because you told me in the green room, before we got in, got in here, that Sammy, actually, Sammy's body, mm -hmm. as a mannequin, mm -hmm. actually responds in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He can, uh, he can sweat, he can vomit, I can make him seize. I can change his heart rate, I can change his lung sounds, we can change anything. He's very dynamic, he's fully programmable, and it's, it's unbelievable how the students become so immersed in this reality of the scenario that I've created create for them. Doesn't it create some, sorry for interrupting, doesn't it create, Kathleen, some degree of stress for them? Well, it does. Is that good stress? <laughs> it's, it's a good stress because it's less stress than if they were in the hospital caring for a live person. This is a comfortable, controlled, safe environment that you can make a mistake. We can back up and do it again. And you do it again and again so that you become um, competent and you become an expert in what you're doing. And that whole fear of I'm going to hurt someone or I'm going to offend someone or I'm not going to do it right has been erased. Now they're, they know they're practicing in a safe environment. What I'm curious about is when the students sign up mm -hmm. to go into the nursing program, do they know that this is part of the curriculum? At, at Caldwell? Uh, many of our nursing students come in prior. When they're searching for a school, a savvy nursing student will look into a program and see what educational experience does this college have that makes them distinct from other colleges. So I encourage any nursing student to do that. You want to look and see what educational experiences are available. So the students come into the simulation lab before choosing Caldwell, and we actually show them. I do a simulation scenario with them, and they can see Sammy at, at work, okay, learning with them. Let me ask them. you, while this is happening, are all the other students standing around, or is that student the only person there? That's what I'm curious about. It really depends. It depends on what educational experience I'm giving. My attention is with Christine at the moment, working that with her on, on her skills, that nursing student. But usually, I have six or eight other students who are watching. Wow. And like, then, you're round, like, you're, sorry, like you're doing rounds? Exactly. Except with Sammy. Except with Sammy, but this allows me to give the same experience to every student, which makes learning uh, good conformity. It makes it high fidelity, which is important. I want to shift gears. I know that another area that you're very concerned about that we've been doing more programming on and we'll be doing much more programming as we move forward into 2000, 
and 14 and beyond. Veterans mental health mm -hmm. issues. Why is it important and why are we not doing enough? It's important to me personally. It's where my capstone project for my doctorate is. I'll be integrating uh, veterans health into the nursing curriculum. I think it's really important because the veterans that are returning home from current conflicts, Afghanistan, Iraq, are coming home with signature injuries, traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's that combination of injuries that are being seen in the community hospitals. Veterans are seeking health care outside of the VA system, and nurses in the community need to be prepared and educated to best serve this vulnerable population that we have. Are they? I, I think we're getting there. I think the wave of the future of education is to make sure that our nurses are savvy to treat this, not only for the veterans. Look what happened in Boston. We have a bombing at the marathon. Nurses in Boston weren't treating veterans then. They're treating American citizens who now have, from the blast injury, traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress, absolutely. Look at 9-11. So some of the injuries that we're seeing in the community are even mimicking what the veterans are coming home with. So for me, ensuring that our nurses that I'm teaching now will be prepared to um, treat, assess our veterans coming home is very important. You make a shift from engineering mm -hmm. to nursing. Any regrets? No regrets at all. No regrets at all. I loved what I did in engineering. It was fun. I was young. It was great. It taught me how to think, how to think on my feet, how to solve every problem. And I used a lot of that in nursing. I can rig up suction to <laughs> suction anything. I can use equipment to do anything. But nursing, the uh, individual aspect, the personal mm -hmm. aspect, is something I never regret. Right before we get in here, I, I got 30 seconds left. I met your husband. What's his mm -hmm. name? Michael. What do you think he thinks of you? I hope he's extremely proud. He's very supportive. He supported me through career changes, uh, multiple educational experiences, going for my master's, going for my doctorate. He's always been right behind me doing it. We've had a fair number of clinicians, nurses, physicians, others. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always amazed by the work that you do and the degree to which you care. And you honor us by being here. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.